Alexis Bidegan St. Martin was a Canadian voyager who is known for his part in experiments on digestion in humans, conducted on him by the American Army physician William Beaumont between 1822 and 1833. On June 6, 1822, St. Martin was accidentally shot with a musket at close range at the fur trading post on Mackinac Island. The charge of the musket shot left a hole through his side that healed to form a hole into his stomach. William Beaumont, a U.S. Army surgeon stationed at a nearby army post, treated the wound. Although S.T. Martin was a healthy young man in his twenties, he was not expected to recover due to the severity of his wound. Beaumont explains in a later paper that the shot blew off fragments of S.T. Martin's muscles and broke a few of his ribs. After bleeding him and giving him a cathartic, Beaumont marked S.T. Martin's progress. For the next 17 days, all food he ate re-emerged from his new gastric fistula. Finally after 17 days, the food began to stay in S.T. Martin's stomach and his bowels began to return to their natural functions. When the wound healed itself, the edge of the hole in the stomach had attached itself to the edge of the hole in the skin creating a permanent gastric fistula. There was very little scientific understanding of digestion at the time and Beaumont recognized the opportunity he had in St. Martin. He could literally watch the processes of digestion by dangling food on a string into St. Martin's stomach, then later pulling it out to observe to what extent it had been digested. Beaumont continued to experiment on St. Martin off and on until 1833, performing an estimated 200 experiments in 10 years. St. Martin allowed the experiments to be conducted, not as an act to repay Beaumont for keeping him alive, but rather because Beaumont had the illiterate St. Martin sign a contract to work as a servant. Beaumont recalls the chores St. Martin did, during this time, in the intervals of experimenting. He performed all the duties of a common servant, chopping wood, carrying burthens, etc. with little or no suffering or inconvenience from his wound. Although these chores were not bothersome, some of the experiments were painful to St. Martin, for example when Beaumont had placed sacks of food in the stomach, Beaumont noted, the boy complained of some pain and uneasiness at the breast. Other symptoms St. Martin felt during experiments were a sense of weight and distress at the epigastric fossa and slight vertigo and dimness of vision. When Alexis St. Martin died at St. Thomas, Quebec, in 1880 his family delayed his burial until the body began to decompose in order to prevent his resurrection by medical men, some of whom wished to perform an autopsy. Thanks for watching please subscribe and share and also visit my other videos. You can also help support my channel at Patreon details in the description box below.